Titans will be Lauren Lampus. Morehouse sets one up for Benz. Benz on the attack, it gets tipped at the net. Westminster keeps it alive. The attack there from Rachel Brady is blocked at the net by Beyonce Pierce. And the presidents finally are back on the board. McFarland on the serve for WNJ. That one stays in. It was Claire Tobin who couldn't decide if she was going to go for it or not, and she got stuck. And the service ace from Piper McFarland finds the near corner, and the Presidents now trail by just two. And that one, the same thing just happened back to back times. That one stayed in again. Perfectly placed ball from Piper McFarland, and the Presidents have cut the deficit to just one. And I mean, that was like deja vu all over again, as Yogi Berra would say. As you just saw the same thing happen twice. That one's blocked at the net, and this first set is tied up. Set. Little on the serve for the Presidents. Brady sets one up for Nardone. The attack there coming from Rambo. It's set up for Fetzko. Fetzko's attack is hit into the air. It is kept alive. Brady has to play it over. Morehouse sets one up to the far side to Fetzko. It's try great defensive play from Westminster to keep it alive. Morehouse sets one up for Carmichael. They can't keep that one alive. And WNJ has just taken the first set over Westminster. Sacramento gives to Carmichael that one. The diving Malia Duffy couldn't get to it. And WNJ gets their first point of the third frame. The serve for Westminster. Sacramento sets one up. McFarland plays it over the net. Westminster on the attack. It's kept alive by McFarland. Blau's attack gets tipped at the net. Westminster keeping it in play. The attack for the Titans. Mc, er, Sacramento sets it up to Connors. Connors attack hits the floor. And WNJ knots it back up at four points apiece. Nardone sets one up for Lampus. The attack there from Connors. The soft touch play finds the floor. And Cameron Connors has come off the bench and provided a big spark for WNJ's offense. And I thought Connors, Connors played well there those last two last three points, I guess you could say. Uh, just set poorly a couple of times. She wasn't able to get her best swing off there uh, two times, and that led to... 8-8 uh, eight to eight ball game. And Zavino... Her serve finds the, the Westminster side floor and the Presidents have taken a 9-8 lead. And I'll tell you what, AP, that's the fifth time now between the two teams we've seen something like that happen. And before that, in all the games I've called this year, I mean, I've called about six or seven, I maybe have saw, saw that maybe twice the entire year. Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't know what it is about about that line tonight. It just It's kind of... <laughs> It's coming back to, to bite, but uh, really both teams. Uh, but you usually, just don't see that. Usually, you see you know players have a really, really good feel about which balls are are going to land in and land out in tonight's point or two. And Zavino's serve is kept alive. Brady on the near side on the booming attack, but Fetzko keeps alive. Then Fetzko responds with an attack and an emphatic point for WNJ, and there it is. There's the timeout. Good response out of timeout. We've said it all night. Both sides of the ball. Both teams responding well from timeouts after bigger runs from the opposition. Faith Fetzko on the serve for WNJ. Daniels sets one up for her teammate. Sacramento gives to Blau. Blau on the attack. That one's good once again. And Jaden Blau keeps her good night going. And the Presidents take the one-point lead.
After that kill there from Blau, she's 6 for 20 on the night, so a good night from the outside hitter. McFarland feeds one to Blau. Daniels gives it to the teammate Lampus. The set from Sacramento for Carmichael. Good defensive play there from Westminster. Fetzko will just loft it over. Nice dig there from Piper McFarland to keep it alive. Connors on the attack. That one gets deflected at the net. And Cameron Connors gets the kill to give W&J the two-point lead. And that was a good combo. That's been good all night. Sacramento to Blau. They're probably combined for five or six kills. Done a very good job tonight. The serve from Morehouse. And Westminster has to dive to keep it alive. Morehouse sets one up to Connors, and Connors with another kill, and the spark off the bench from Cameron Connors has been the leading factor in this second or third set lead as the Presidents lead 21 to 19. Westminster calls a time. Westminster with the serve, it's Ferringer. Morehouse sets one up for Connors. It gets hit at the net, but it goes past everyone. And the Presidents are a point away from claiming set number three. And Zavino's serve. Westminster handling it. Fetzko knocks it into the Westminster zone. It gets deflected out of bounds. And we are tied up at 16 each. And WNJ takes the lead out of the timeout. 17 16, Anzavino on the serve once again for WNJ. The setup from Nardot is blocked at the net by Beyonce Pierce. And Pierce just gave life to the entire gym. And the presidents have taken the momentum into the timeout and now out of the timeout. The Presidents lead 18-17 as they look to finish this one in four sets. Daniels serves it over. Orhouse to Little on the attack. And Sophie Little gives WNJ a two-point lead. And I'm, I think it's a great thing for, as you mentioned, for... This team just slow down. This young team who, that is still learning how to win. That's a big announcement there. As Allegheny has just taken down Grove City in four sets as they will take on the Bethany Bison in the semifinal. Winner of this one will travel to Chatham to take on the Cougars. Blau's attack finds the zone, and Jaden Blau has gotten WNJ to match point here. Sophie Little will enter the game for Lizzie Carmichael. Piper McFarland on the serve as WNJ can clinch their ticket to the semifinal in the PAC tournament. The setup is given. Sacramento sets one for Blau. Blau on the attack. That one is played alive. There it's Ferringer. The attack there from Connors rattles against the net. And it gets deflected out of bounds. And the Presidents will move on to the PAC semifinal. And how fair.